Hello and welcome back to the Demis Helen channel. We're going to be looking at recreating one of the pads from my new Vital Trans Pads Bank and this is available on the website at the moment. You can go and grab that if you want to get all of the 20 pads that are in there. You can keep your eyes peeled though if you are a Born to Produce customer or you're a My Loops customer this pack will be releasing within a couple of weeks time on those platforms as well. So we're going to take a look at recreating the preset called Purity. So if we just solo this pad here, this is what we're going to recreate. A nice sort of progressive uplifting style pad and it's got a little bit of a gator on there so there's a few bonus tips in there on how to create a proper gator using the LFOs. So we're going to start with this waveform it's different to the one that's used in the actual patch and the reason that I'm not going to be using it today is purely based on you don't have it if you want to recreate this for free which is what this tutorial is for you can do so with the initialized waveform. So we're going to use this it is not too dissimilar to that and we're going to set this up to three voices and it sounds a little bit chaotic at the moment because there's only three voices detuned. We're going to bring the unison down to around 5%. That is much closer to how it actually sounds. And then we can turn on the filter. So for this particular preset, I've used the Digital 12. You can already hear the sound is there. That is the character of that particular sound. And I'm gonna bring it down to about 500-ish Hertz, somewhere in that region. Just so we can hear some of those upper harmonics coming through. And then from here, we can just put on the effects. So the only thing that I used in this preset was the reverb. Bit of a low cut. So we'll have that around the 70-ish, 80-ish hertz. Something like that. I'm gonna have the mix high quite a long time, maybe seven to nine, 10 seconds, something like that. I can't remember exactly. And quite a large size in the actual reverb. just helps smooth everything off and obviously when the filters open you hear a bit more of that reverb decay. And then I'm just going to attach the mod wheel onto the filter so we have the option to open the filter using the mod wheel on our keyboards. You can see now the automation that's already programmed. And you might be wondering why you can't see the keyboard at the bottom and the mod wheels half cut off. It is down to the fact that these MIDI packs are going to be available sometime around the Black Friday. Hopefully get that release out there for you. Okay, so we've got our sound. I'm just gonna add a bit of randomization to our fine tune here. And we can just make this bipolar. So it's oscillating both directions. less. So it's just varying that pitch a little bit and just creating a little bit of that analog vibe. We're not trying to make it analog, just recreate some of the characteristics. Okay, so I'm going to add some white noise onto this. About there just a little bit of crispiness on the top and we're going to inject that into the waveform as well using some FM from sample. So bring that down to zero. You can see it degrades pretty quickly. this going through to effects. I don't want it to be affected by the filters. The only other option you could have is you could send it to filter two and put a high pass. So you're just making sure all the lows are out of the white noise. But I thought the characteristics sounded quite nice with this particular simple patch. So there you are. That is the whole patch created. You can just up the voices if you are using large chord structures. You think you can go up to 32. So if you want to do that, you can. So now that the sound design is done, we can get straight on to creating the LFO, the gator part. So I'm going to draw in some downward slides, leave it on eight. 
So it's like this. And I'm going to hit the curve icon. So we now have lovely curves going down like so. And I'm going to turn the smoothing off for a second and set it to one over four. So quarter notes in sync mode. So then when we're hitting keys, it'll keep it in sync instead of restarting the pattern and sounding a bit jolted in places. So how do we do this? Well, there's a couple of little tricks that we have to do. We have to use a macro to turn down the level to start with. So we're going to control it with a macro, just like I do in the preset. And I'm going to attach LFO1 to that level. So then when we turn the macro, in theory, the gator will switch on and off. At the moment, we're going to hear it. Let's turn that down to two. Turn the master out down. So you can see that it's still affecting it, even though the macro is down. And that's because we need to do something in the matrix here. So LFO1, you can see it's controlling oscillator level one, which is what we just dragged to oscillator one's level. I'm going to use the macro to actually control this and turn this back down. So you can just double click to reset it. And then we can use this to bring the level up to roughly the same area that the volume level would be. So now with the macro turned off, we don't have this happening. It's still running, but it's been turned off because we're not allowing that level there to come through till we turn this. So to recap, what is actually happening with the macro is we're turning down the level of oscillator one, and then we are turning up the level of the LFO. So we're going the opposite ways to each other. So there's many ways that we can approach this. This is a very, very simple gate. I'm not going into the technicals of it, but we can use the smoothing here as well to get a little bit more tasteful without the spikes on it. And can we just call that gator? And there we are. I just want to give you another tip as well, just for the very end. If you've managed to get this far in the video, congratulations. Let me know in the comments if you did manage to get this far, because I don't think many people do. But there is another little tip here just at the end for you guys that have stuck by, which is using the new feature data compress and it converts it into more of an organ sound. So it's good for sort of transitional elements or for positioning it in your track if you don't want it to be so sort of spiky and just have that really gritty texture you can actually have it a lot smoother and softer but pushes it more into the territory of sounding a bit more like an organ preset again you can attach that to a macro if you didn't want to control it there and maybe control a second parameter where we can control the filter as well. But there's so many things that you can do, but we can just say that is the organizer. And that's what it's called in the actual preset as well. We've got it a bit smoother. And just for perfection, I did go into the Unison Blender and just bring this down a little bit. Give it a bit more of an intimate feel. So that feature is exactly the same as what you can do in Serum, where you can actually blend the mix of voices in from low to high. That's exactly what this is doing here, but it's under the Advanced tab. And that way we get a nice thin sound without having to actually reduce the mix here or the intensity of the unison. There we have it. That is the preset Purity totally recreated for free. Hopefully you have followed along and you've got that one for free if you're not in the position to purchase a new pack at this time. And with that said, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Take care.